You know how you know that you're knee deep in the NFL draft process? It's when you find yourself doing profile videos for interior offensive linemen from an FCS school. And that's exactly where we are today, Dolphins fans. On the Fins Up Network, we are talking about Cole Strange, interior offensive lineman from Chattanooga. You can see the measurables down below. You can see his NFL combine numbers down below. And keep in mind, this is actually, this wasn't one of the players on my original list. This was from a viewer that made a recommendation, said, hey, check out the tape, make a video, let me know your thoughts. So here we are. So keep making recommendations. I might end up taking them like I did on this one. If you like the video, if you end up liking what I say about Cole Strange, go ahead, give this a thumbs up. And I have one more plea before we get started. I'm this close, so close to having 500 subscribers on the channel already. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe and we'll keep this puppy going. But let's talk a little bit about Cole Strange because coming out of high school, he was originally recruited to play defensive end, ended up going to Chattanooga, ended up moving to the offensive line, went from tackle to guard, and he actually had most of his collegiate starts at guard. And now he's being viewed more so as a center at the next level. And one thing about him, too, is he obviously played in college football during the pandemic, took advantage of that extra pandemic year. So going into the start of this season, he's going to be 24 years old, which Honestly, isn't a huge red flag, but it's a red flag to some people when you see others that come into the league at 21, 22 years old. But I don't really want to hold that too much against him, especially since we're looking at him probably as like a third round pick. But you look at him and what he provides at the center position, potentially guard position. He is very quick from snap to his initial setup. And if he's playing center at the next level, that's going to be Ultra important, just being able to get that get that snap, something he's not used to doing as much, and getting up and getting into his position. That's going to be huge. And what he showed that he did well in college was he gets into that position well. Gets into position well, throws that first punch well. He's got good arm length, and he has active hands as well. So he's got a lot going for him in regards to technique. And if you look at where his technique comes into play the best and where his, his best skill is, it's in the run game. He has better run game tape than he does pa pass game tape, but he has that mean streak. And we talk about that with interior, any offensive lineman, honestly. It's that finishing every single play, that mindset that it, it's mean, it's nasty, it's ugly. I'm the one that's going to make this play happen. It's not going to be because of me that the play fails. But if you look at his stature, he's muscular. He's rock. He's like myself. Hope you like that joke. He's a pretty lean dude, though. He doesn't have that prototypical thickness that you see from a, a, the standard offensive lineman, these big, beefy dudes. He's muscular, but he's, he's lean with it. And you can see that he can struggle with a re-anchor if he's facing like a powerful rush. And what I mean by that is, on, typically on a bull rush, you're an offensive lineman, and you're going you're gonna to anchor back. You anchor, you get your hands up on the guy. However, if he doesn't win with his initial technique, and that first anchor isn't there, his ability to take that next step back and re-anchor, which we see from a lot of the elite uh, offensive linemen, if they fail right away, being able to re-anchor, he's not there yet. And I think why that is such a, a red flag for me at this point in time is because we already saw some tape of it in his entire career. He faced FCS competition. 44 career starts, three of them came against Power 5 opponents. So that's also another thing to keep an eye on. But like I said, he primarily played left guard in a zone-based scheme, which is good for the Dolphins, obviously, moving to this zone-based run offense. Um, but played a little left guard there. Performed well at the Senior Bowl at both guard and center, which has kind of elevated his draft stock, especially recently. But if he can work on adding that extra strength and also not getting too excited with his feet and pass protection, sometimes he can rush a little bit. He gets a little bit ahead of himself. The defender puts one move on him, and he's gone. But if he can he can work on adding strength, if he can kind of slow down, work on building on that technique, get that strength going, he will find success at the next level. So we look at that next level and his potential fit with the Dolphins. Let's say he's drafted. Let's say they want to try to play him right away. I would have to imagine it's at center. you got Teron Armstead at left tackle. You have Connor Williams at left guard. Strange, you slot him in at center, and then you have Robert Hunt at right guard, and then whoever wins the training camp battle between Austin Jackson and Liam Eikenberg. So what does that leave out? 
that leaves out Michael Dieter. So in this situation, if you wanted Strange to come in, start from day one, you're either looking at Dieter as a backup, or we've heard a couple of trade rumors around him as well. Some teams kind of kind of knocking on the door about him as well. But obviously Miami could use the, uh, the, the depth at offensive line as well. But I end all these videos with um, talking about where we right now are kind of ranking him. And I use the NFL mock draft database for that. Right now, they have him as the 93rd overall prospect, which is a, a late third rounder. And keep in mind, it's where the Dolphins are. The Dolphins are picking at 102 with their first pick in the draft, which is obviously towards the end of the, uh, the third round. But like I said, let me know your thoughts on, on Strange. Give me that thumbs up if you liked what I heard, if you like his fit with the Dolphins. And then also make a recommendation. We'll see if the player's on my list, and I'm, I'm trying to pump out one of these a day leading up to the draft. But that's what I've got for Strange. I appreciate your time, Dolphins fans. And until then, see you next time.